Uh, hello YouTube. I always had a little think in my head, and I, I just wondered. I wondered if I put a, if I build two identical little regulator circuits here. This is a uh, LM338. It's LM338. These are identical circuits, um, and I wondered if having these two identical circuits, if they were powered by two independent supplies, or let's say a dual secondary of a transformer so this is hypothetical I'm thinking it will work if I have a transformer like that one there and it has two outputs yeah and I let's say just for example I put one side one secondary here 12 volts one secondary here 12 volts can I have using two LM338s a dual rail power supply so if I attach the output of this one positive rail to the negative output of this one and tap off that and then connect um, a multimeter to the tap and then and the negative and a multimeter to the tap and the positive will I have a dual rail supply Well, because you know that went to my head, I built the circuit up and I've just tested it. But I did notice I made the video first and I did notice I thought, oh, that's a bit strange. I got 1.7 volts here and 1.4 uh, volts here. Mm, what's wrong? And I just noticed actually that I put in a LM317 on this side. Now, this still worked, okay, but I put an LM317 there and the LM338 there. So I've just changed this from LM338. Uh, I've not even tried it yet, but I'm pretty confident that it'll work. Um, but that goes to show that you can actually mix these. Because it did work, there's 1.7 volts there, like I said, and 1.4 volts there. So, and I can imagine because they're the same pinout, pretty identical, LM350, LM338, um, and um, LM317. The difference with 317, of course, is you can have a bigger... Um, voltage differential but it works so let me just power on both sides of this let me click these and he says it works but on one side we haven't got any power which is here um, as you can see on the multimeter there's nothing so let me just um, do a quick check see what I've done wrong there um, that was really simple um, when I moved took out the LM317 Putting in three, uh, three, three, eight. I just had it moved over one, so we had no power going. So I put the arm onto that, and you can see. Oh, it's still got one point seven volts. That's a bit strange. I'm one point sort of five volts over here. Unless that's turned up slightly, it's not. Yeah. But we still have a negative. We got a positive voltage there, one point five volts. And we got a negative voltage there, minus 1.7. And so I can turn up the negative side to 2.5 volts. And of course, that side still stays the same once I turn that up to oh, that's a bit over 2.5 volts. So you can have, as long as you've got two separate supplies you can create a dual rail supply from those two separate supplies so there's and that's powering it with that one there and this one here which is just running off this ATX don't get me wrong I've, this is as far as I've got with testing this I don't know what it's going to end up being um, we can end up doing with it, but that is that is not too bad. If you keep in mind that if you had a transformer with two secondaries on it and you did the same thing, you could basically make yourself a little dual rail power supply uh, using LM3, LM338s or LM317s or LM350s. I'm going to presume that you can do the same thing with all of them. Mm -hmm. 
And if you can't, I'll certainly leave it in the comments. Because I'm not going to bother doing too long a video on this or anything. I'm just... And this little circuit here is basically off the data sheet. Okay, just um, get off the data sheet. There's, there's nothing special about this circuit. And all I've done is made two identical ones. They're on separate boards. They're electrically separated from each other apart from when I hook up from the output negative side here um, to the output of here, this side, to make that center tap. And that's it. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. Cheers for watching guys and carry on playing around with this for a little while.